What is encapsulation? Encapsulation is also called data hiding. Encapsulation restricts access to certain attributes and or methods within a class. The theory behind encapsulation is that an object performs all of its data handling and actions internally. The user of an object does not need to know or be aware of how this data is handled. Encapsulation provides a protective wrapper that prevents code and data from misuse and mistakenly being changed from outside the class. Encapsulation uses getters and setters. Getters and setters are methods used to get and set object properties. This prevents users from directly accessing object properties. There are two types of getter setter methods, implicit and explicit. Implicit getters and setters are treated as attributes. You can see from my examples below how to set and get values from an object using implicit getters and setters. Implicit getters and setters are the most commonly used method in action script. Explicit getters and setters are treated as methods. You can see from my examples below how to set and get values from an object using explicit getters and setters. In some programming language, explicit getters and setters are the only option available. Now that we've learned about encapsulation, let's create a quick little project. I created a new project called Encapsulation Example, and I imported this from my current template. I created a simple little asset over here in Flash, it has a text field for name and phone and company and exported this as display base. So back over in Flash Builder I also created a simple value object that's going to store the name, company, and phone number of their contact. So let's create the class for the display object. So file, new, and a new action script class. And I'm going to put this in the package com.michaelshinsky.ui and I'm going to name this display. Now this is going to ex extend our display base object. So first thing we need is a property that's going to store our contact information, our value object. So private var contact. This will be a contact vo. And we also want this to be a required parameter for this class to work. So create that in our constructor function. Contact is a contact vo. And then we can set the value underscore contact equals contact. And to test this out, let's create a function called update display which will fill in the text fields from our contact object. It will be a public function. Update display and return void and tf name dot text equals contact dot name a tf phone dot text equals contact dot phone and text field company dot text will be equal to contact dot company. So we'll go back over to main and we need to first create a value object. So far contact is a new contact VO. And we'll fill this with some data. Contact dot name equals Michael. Now contact dot phone equals five 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 and five 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 five. And then contact dot company equals and graphic ten. So 
So now that we have the value objects, let's create a new display object. So var display is a new display. and we'll pass in the contact value object and then let's add this to the stage this dot add child display let's test it out and see if it works so we got the name phone number and information display so what do we do if we want to update that information so we'll have the display object take a getter and setter so to do that we can go up to the contact right click go down the source and generate getter and setter and we'll leave that at contact and generate a getter and a setter uh, we want this public and I'm going to change this to after last method to put it at the end of our code and then click OK and it will go ahead and generate our getters and setters for us. So when we set the value, you want it to automatically update the display as well. So down under in the setter, we can call update display. And now instead of just getting and setting the value, it will also update our display object. It's one of the neat things about using getters and setters in encapsulation is we can hide what's actually going on behind in the back end and not have the user have to worry about setting all that information themselves. Go so back over to the main, we want to test out that this works, so I'm going to create a new contact information object, value object. So I'm going to call this contact2, which be contact VO equals a new contact VO. And we'll set some new information here. So contact two dot name equals Joe and contact two dot phone equals five 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 dash one two three four and Joe's company will be say Coca Cola. And so we used to implicit getter and setter function here in this display dot contact equals our new contact VO and just contact two and we'll go ahead and run this and see if our information gets updated the way we think it should be And there you have it. We have the getters and setters, which also update the display. And this is Joe, his phone number, and Coca-Cola. Thank you for watching.